I said earlier, trading is a mental game. It's, it's, it's a, you know, it's trading psychology is very important and trading success is, is possible, but it requires a lot of work initially. And, and the mindset of trading, AKA trading psychology is where I would say the bulk of the work needs to be done in my opinion. And yes, even for systematic rule-based traders, because trading at the end of the day is, is a mental game. It's, it's a game you play against yourself because you're the one making the, the decisions and pulling the trigger ultimately. And if you have, you know, if you have a lot of internal conflicts and limiting beliefs, and if, if, if you have a short fuse and, and don't know how to manage your emotions, I mean, winning as a trader is, is practically impossible. You, you will tend to make a lot of, a lot of costly trading errors and, and you won't get anywhere sin, sin significant in this endeavor. So trading psychology is very important. Uh, uh, it's, it's a very important yet underrated as, aspect of trading, underrated, underappreciated. Um, and that's, that's sad, that's, that's unfortunate because market edge and trading psychology edge, they, they go hand in hand, Vivek. And now, because most people don't appreciate the, 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 the trading psychology element of trading, uh, well, the failure rate is high in this endeavor, you know? I, I think conventional wisdom suggests that 90% of all traders fail. Uh, broker, brokerage firms even see trade, based on the research search they've made, they even see trade that number a little higher. And I'm, I'm not saying this to discourage your audience, Vivek. It's, it's to really help them understand that you need all the spokes in the wheel, so to speak, to, to make trading a viable thing. If, if you focus on, on the different aspect of trading and exclude trading psychology, trading is just not going to be a, a, a profitable thing long term. You know, if, if, even if you have a profitable trading system. All mm. right. You, you need to give as much time to trading psychology as you give to risk management or chart chart analysis or what have you. You have to approach trading from this more this this more this this more holistic point of view, you know, and give equal importance to each of its you know elements: technical analysis, risk management, uh, um, um, and psychology. Sure, because trading. Trading is not just about about uh, you, you know finding uh, you know the the right trades. It's about how you manage yourself in the midst of uncertainty. Mm. And I don't know if you've heard about that. I I think uh, Business Insider wrote an article about this uh, um, a couple of years ago. Billionaire trader and hedge fund manager Paul Tudor Jones pays Tony Robbins, the, the renowned motivational speaker millions, Vivek, literally millions of dollars each year to, to help him with his trading psychology. And you know, don't believe me, just Google it when you have a moment. I, I believe Business Insider wrote an article on this. And, and I mean, that's how important trading psychology is, all right? Yet, you know, once again, retail traders have a tendency to think that the psychological aspect is unimportant or, or they think that they, they already have it figured out. And this truly puts them at a disadvantage, you know? True. Now, okay, so we've established the importance of trading psychology. Now, if you, go, if you do a quick Google search of the term, you'll find an onslaught of trading psychology solutions out there. In, you know, you know, you'll, uh, you know NLP, uh, psychotherapy, uh, what else? Hypnosis and all of that, all to help you gain a, a, a sort of trading psychology edge in the market. Um, but let's not sugarcoat things. Most, most uh, solutions out there are, I would say, surface level. They, they're surface level solutions. What, what you find on the internet is surface level articles and, and solutions that don't produce, don't produce reliable results that are too generic and, and not insightful enough or practical enough to be truly helpful. Um, and yeah, on, on, honestly, or, or else, you know, the, the failure rate in trading wouldn't be as high, right?
Investments in the securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.